All right, I've been saving this video for a bit. I saw it and I saw the title and I saw Super versus Diddy's Disciples. I'm like, what do you mean Diddy's Disciples? Is the baby oil coming out? Let's get it. Be careful. Be careful, Subaru. Oh shit, is that Reinhardt? <laughs> no, don't do Julius this dirty. Don't do Julius dirty. What do you mean? If, if you're leading him with saying, oh shit, is that Reinhardt and fangirls cheering? Are they going to be disappointed when, you know, Julius is revealed? Come on, what is this Julius slander, man? My man is the most chivalrous knight, even better than Reinhardt, but that's all about mannerisms and etiquette, right? I think Julius is incredibly strong, though. I think he gets glazed like crazy in the source material, too. Of course, no one is fucking close to Reinhardt other than Satala, but I think that Julius can, you know, keep up. So, ReZero is possibly my favorite anime. Wait a minute. I thought this was going to be a meme video. But if he's going to do a video essay, that means that whole intro section was just unprovoked Julius slander. You know what? I respect it. So ReZero is possibly my favorite anime of all time. Ooh, yeah, and now that based. it's back, it's giving me its regular hard to watch. Did you guys hear that? My NPCs? He said ReZero good. This is where you say Glaze, amazing, me too, yes. We're also Glazers, yes. Moments. Uh oh. But it's fine though. As long as I can get past that, I get to see Priscilla. And now mm -hmm. I'm hard while watching. Okay, but in all seriousness, this is actually insane. My goat literally went through a one year training art just to get fucking lynched. Yeah. Bro, like my arms were shaking, my heart was pumping, toes curling, bruh. My eyes were. The way that the fingers, like, got sliced off like hot dogs, man, when he grabbed for his neck because it's like spiky chains. That shit was like, ooh. Seeing more of the story, bruh, I, I was discombobulated. Wait, 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 what? Pumping, toes curling, bro. My eyes were seeing more of the story, bro. I, I was discombobulated, bro. Like, I don't understand. Accurate Deku 1622 reaction. Uh, is that some. What is this? Is there a lore behind Deku 1622? Is it, is it like a Razor Glazer on Twitter that got like notorious for glazing so much? Is it a random community member in his channel? I, I have no clue. I got no clue. And why those guys in the white cloaks like seeing this so much. So I've been seeing a lot of people call super. <laughs> I mean, the cult members. They're black cloaks. <laughs> They're purple black cloaks. White cloaks like seeing this so much. So I've been seeing a lot of people call super weak for losing all these encounters, but he's not. He literally went through this big ass training arc. Yep. I mean, like he's in peak physical condition. Even at And I would argue that super versus regulars happen fist to fist. No authorities, nothing. Super would win. Has a contract with Beatrice and he even learned new techniques. I mean, he still really can't use magic like that because, like, he has, like, a uh, magical autism or some shit. Even if. <laughs> That's right. The broken gate and use of authorities. Yes. Subaru has a magical autism. Yes, I. This is my headcanon. If he could, you still can't even blame him because, like, he's beefing with Satan, Jeffrey Epstein's final form. Any wise Dr. Octopus, if he. Wait, 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 wait. Doc Ock? Metrikis is Doc Ock. Hold on, hold on, go back. Cool autism or some shit. Deku1622 is the name of the channel I'm watching right now. Oh. <laughs> I should show more respect to the people that I'm reacting to. My bad. Even if he could, you still can't even blame him because, like, he's beefing with Satan, Jeffrey Satan. Epstein's final form. Anywise, Dr. Octopus. Anywise? What is what is anywise, bro? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Dr. Octopus, if he locked in the reverse KKK, someone's. What is the reverse of K? What letter actually comes close? Nothing really. I can't see it on my keyboard, like a backwards K, but, uh, what about an upside down K? I don't know. BDSM fantasy. Hold on, is she saying. Sorry, one second. Technical difficulties. Does anyone have a good letter for the opposite of K? Pennywise the Clown? Oh, I see, I see. Roswell is a Pennywise. Sorry, I am very uh, uncultured when it comes to stuff like that. In the reverse KKK. Someone's BDSM fantasy. Hold on, is she single? Does she need toilet paper? Because I'm willing to volunteer. Thanos, moist critter. 
You want to be her toilet paper? Nah, that's small mind. I want to be her bidet. Because the toilet paper is going to run out. And the new toilet paper will be replacing you. But a bidet, it's, it, it's, you know, you set that shit once. It's long lasting. Because I'm willing to volunteer. Thanos, Moist Critical, all the perk. And like everyone on Twitter who thinks he cries too much. Like, bro, am I not allowed to suffer? He's. I agree. I think Subaru cries so much and it does get so fucking annoying. But here's the thing. It makes sense why he's crying so much. If you actually watch the story, there's so much evidence and details, and it's so realistic that he's crying so much. Of course, he's not a perfect main character like fucking Onisama, Jesus Christ, Tatsuya, right? From like Mahoka, Irregular Magic High School. There's all these perfect characters, but you know, it does get suffocating when he's constantly, constantly lashing out. I think the first half of season two was very suffocating. Also, due to the, you know, setting not changing as we're locked into the sanctuary. I can understand why people feel like this. Who thinks he cries too much? Like, bro. But also, yeah, you would also be crying that much if you're in his shoes. Exactly. Bro, am I not allowed to suffer? He's literally beefing with the entire internet and fucking Diddy's disciples. <laughs> Wait, Dumb Dumber and Dumbest are Diddy's disciples? Nah. <laughs> if anything. If Roswell is Diddy, then I feel like Subaru is the disciple. He is known as the lolly man for now. Disciples. Ow. Now take off his pants. Yeah. Ratchins don't roll that Actually, I don't know. I have no clue if Ratchins rolls that way, actually. Listen, if anyone talks down on my goat again, it's going to be a problem. Okay, so speaking of problems. outfit is so crazy still and imagine if they actually like showed his you know hair down here that would be insane <laughs> if he had a bit of fuzz popping out oh my god that would be diabolical <laughs> Okay, you get the point, but listen, bro, the entire fucking witch cult is invading, and they're currently threatening to flood the entire city by opening up the floodgates. Yes, now, sir. This is like a serious problem because humans can't really breathe underwater. Well, they're which is funny because the flood actually did help us, and I still think that Al flooded Pristilla. And even though the flood is bad, in this situation where Pristilla got flooded, it was actually good for us. Theoretically, I mean, nobody's ever tried it. Deku himself. I mean, nobody's ever tried. Nothing good ever comes after someone says the word theoretically. <laughs> Hypothetically. Theoretically. Yeah. What the fuck? Yo, how is my editor gonna fact check me mid video like I'm Donald Trump? But shit, anyway. Yo, if that, yo, if that word yeah. was coming out of Capella, I could probably make something work. Shit, uh, okay, scratch that. I'm getting off topic. So basically, they're holding the entire city hostage until their demands are met. And this is pretty crazy because. They're really out here torturing these guys. Capella is literally ear raping the crowd, blasting the sounds of people getting mutilated through the yeah. loudspeakers that are across the town. I mean, shit, bro, this shit is demoralizing, bro. It's like going to your championship football game and your coach decides to hype everyone up by playing any song by Logic ever. Hey, hey! Are you ready? To rumble. Cut the shit the fuck off! Bro, what is he doing? I don't know. I really don't know. It probably goes something like that. Also, Capella is turning people into flies, so I doubt they want to be alive anyway. <laughs> they are, though. I wonder what these flies are going to be doing for the rest of the story until we defeat, you know, Capella. If we even defeat Capella. Will the flies just be chilling in this room? <laughs> and then, like, we defeat her, and then maybe the authority wears off. Who knows? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Listen, if you're anything like me, you could obviously tell that this is an Avengers level threat. I mean, someone needs to call Deku, All Might, Spider-Man, Captain America, Ant-Man. Maybe not Ant-Man. Maybe like, uh, uh, Deadpool, shit, uh, the police? 
Call uh, Superman. The army? The military? Don't they have knights? Where are they at? Voltron, pick. Where are the knights at? That's a very good question. Well, only Julius and Reinhardt's here because they're off duty. I don't know what the knights' responsibilities are. Are they just stationed? Just doing shit? Patrolling the guards? I mean, once you leave Lagunica without any defenders, we're open for invasion. Valakia probably wants that smoke. I hear there was like insane lore of how Valakia and Lagunica always were beefing in the past and with the royal candidates selection happening and we have no ruler. It would probably be a stupid idea to bring all our forces somewhere else and open Lugunica, like the royal capital, kind of open for threats. Thank you, CC Flitz, for the three months of Prime, man. Knights, where are they at? Voltron, Piccolo, Shrek, Batman, Man Bat, Batmite. They're professional soldiers protecting the royal family? <laughs> Bro, you could have just said royal capital. Why'd you say royal family? They did. They, yo, these knights fucking suck. <laughs> they, they should fire these knights, dude. The entire royal family got fucking. They're gone. Shikamaru, 50 Cent, Kai Nat, your cashier at your local Baskin Robbins, anybody that can lend a hand. This is a serious crisis. Where the fuck is Reinhardt? Where is Reinhard? It's the most annoying thing. I see some other people also being frustrated at, you know, Tape's just ingenious ways of removing the most OP characters to solve our problems, right? Reinhard gets locked up due to Heinkill. Heinkill's kidnapping a lolly. Looks like Reinhard also, you know, the apple doesn't fall far too far from the tree. He definitely learned it from his dad. But there's these creative ways that we nerf these OP characters because if the OP characters showed up and just saved the day, it would be so boring. Like, what if Reinhard decided to just nuke Pristella with this dragon sword and restored everything and everything was happy and done by next episode? The moment would be really hype, but then it's just like, I bet the story wouldn't be as good. You can't have this simple, you know, answer everything button character and expect the story to be compelling. Maybe there will be one moment like that where something crazy does happen, but they have a very good way of nerfing these characters by removing them from the plot or something else they have to do. Because Ryan Hart. Is this nigga serious? Otto is stronger than Reinhard. Reinhard was not able to save Felt here, and I think that Felt could have gotten away. People glaze Heinkel like crazy here and say, yep, Heinkel could have done it. Heinkel could have fucking done it. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure, Heinkel's strong, right, in the lore, right? But again, this is a fucking theoretical where you and I don't know what the outcome could have been if Felt actually tried. To me, Felt with the blessing of wind could have simply just gotten away. Also, looking at Felt's face, that's eyes of determination to change Reinhard. For Reinhard to actually do something, to make a fucking move, to commit to something that like prevents you from just being a fucking hero, right? I feel like Felt might have wanted Reinhard to make his own decision. Maybe that's my headcanon, but also Otto showed up at the end and saved him because Reinhard couldn't. Are you serious right now, bro? Bro, what the fuck? Is he trolling? He's literally the strongest person in the verse and he can't speed blitz him? He yeah. literally has every ability imaginable, including I mean that. the ability to wish for more abilities. That's, and that's crazy. that's not an exaggeration either. He can literally give himself any ability he wants and he decided Out of to give himself the ability of a- Yeah, 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 okay, shut the fuck up! あ、目覚めたみたいだね。本当に良かった。君が無事で。ご紹介の前に大事な質問に答えてほしい。僕たちの未来に重要なことなんだ。Are Bro, there's no way in hell he thought this pickup line would work. But here's the thing. It wouldn't work if you're asking for consent. Right? Regulus doesn't ask for consent. This dude just forces everything down mid because he can get away with it because of his authority. Regulus is the scariest and strongest archbishop so far. He literally kidnapped Amelia and plans to take her virginity in the same day. Did he? 
scariest Archbishop? I'm not sure about that. Maybe the most powerful Archbishop. I mean, that's factually just true, based on the power rankings and shit. I think Capella is more scary? When I think about terror, scary, I think about like the outcome of their actions. And for sure, Regulus has done some crazy shit, but what Capella did, that's just beyond twisted. Plus Regulus, even though he's volatile and he would just kill a wife out of nowhere, if you reason with him and talk to him, he's more reasonable than most Archbishops because you can actually have a conversation. He would be proud. He's definitely not my favorite Archbishop. I mean, he has multiple wives that he literally murders on a whim, and they're basically like his slaves. Yep. So basically, fuck this guy. My favorite Archbishop probably has to be... Petrogus. Ah, uh, serious? Why? Are you just cooming for serious? Why is she your favorite? Serious Romani Conti. Now, if you're serious? asking yourself, how is he possibly attracted to that? My message to you is simple. Yeah? You, you like lack tied the up? fucking vision. You simply lack the imagination. Are you serious you can't right see now, the bro? possibilities, the angles, the positions. The positions indeed. Listen, if you got a vision to tell me, I'm willing to listen. The fan art, the body pillows, figurines, yeah. the cosplay. Yeah, I'm like what the fuck? That's Deku with Oshinoko Eye. <laughs> what kind of power scaling is this, bro? We got Hoshino Eye's single eye, bro, for Deku from My Hero Academia. Like Rule Tien Shenhan or Madara Uchiha, bro. bro, I can see everything. Rules. Wait, wait, go back, what? Abilities, the angles, the positions, the fan art, the body pillows, figurines, the cosplays. Me, I'm like Rule Tien Shenhan or Madara Uchiha, bro, bro, I can see rules, everything. Bro. I see all the What's angles. All I don't know what he was trying to say with Tien Shin. Is he glazing Tien Shin? I think he is. Let it be known that Tien Shin was actually there during the Boo Saga at the end to buy time. When everyone on Earth was dead because Boo basically just killed everybody, Tien Shin and Chao Tzu, they were grinding. And then they showed up and bought time for I think either Vegito or Gohan to show up, right? Oh, that is, uh, every vision, bro, every possible. <laughs> Tien also just like made Dragon Ball so good. Until Tien and also, you know, Tao Pai Pai, which is kind of related because they're kind of like same faction back in the day, right? Dragon Ball was more not, not as hype. And then Tien also during Cell arc, bro. I remember Cell in his second form and Tien using his triangle beam attack like 10 times in a row. That shit, when I was watching that as a kid, oh, goosebumps. Even though he didn't win, obviously. The fact that someone that's not a fucking Saiyan is doing these, I'm like, oh, lord. This ability, bro. This is more than just shit, a Genji shit, shit, no, I think that Krilling is the strongest human. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't really, you know, remember all these details. And I just remember a random fucking post. I don't even know what that post was from. Was it Toriyama's words? I'm not sure. But lore-wise, Krillin is the strongest human. Not because Krillin is better than Tien, but because Tien is not really a human, right? Is he a different race? Because of his third eye, the multiple arm technique... Like, bro is literally looking like that dude from fucking Valakia, right? That dude that Regulus killed and most likely respawned. The, you know, the person beside Teresia right now and the cult members, right? The extra arm shit. Like, I thought the reason why Tien wasn't considered the strongest, even though Tien is probably stronger than Krillin, is because Tien is not a human, right? And I think that's the distinction of why Krillin is the strongest human. Bro, I, I might just, just become look, the next Regulus. Right vision ah! what I see here... <laughs> Don't even look me in the eyes. We are not equals, bro. We are not comrades. We are not allies. You are not 1622, bro. You are just simply, right. you're simply not a real goon. <clears throat> okay, so Sirius, she has an ability that allows her to link people's minds and bodies physically and emotionally. Soul and I love to be linked to her physically, but she has a crush on Subaru because he has better. You want to link your mind with Sirius? Okay. If Sirius starts taking back shots from somebody else, and you are connected to Sirius, what do you think is happening to you, bro? Ever think about that? I don't think a lot of people really think about this too deeply. Because I do. Because as much as he said that he's a different level of a gooner, <laughs> your power level is very shallow compared to mine. You have no clue what true degener degeneracy is. You have no clue my true power level. I think about this shit. I study this shit. 
Ogis' authority, which was her husband. She's like the weirdest archbishop that's been shown so far, but she's not the kinkiest. So I'm pretty sure she's actually Fortuna from season two. Well, mm -hmm. that's just a theory though. I mean, she does have the same hair, same eyes, same body proportions. 32, 23, 33. Basically what I'm you trying to say that. is, theoretically, she's probably the same person. Also, she could get it. What if we were the one giving serious back shots? We would have to ask Tape for that. Someone should honestly ask him in the Q&A panel. Tape Sensei, I have a question regarding Sirius's uh, soul washing authority. If we are linked and I was having sex with Sirius, would I feel the penetration even though I am the one penetrating? Do you have any words in that Tape Sensei? Okay, so you all should remember Gluttony, and you should also remember why we all don't fuck with him. Not after what happened to Rem. As you can imagine, this is my absolute le I think some people actually fuck with him because they hate Rem. Maybe not because they hate Rem. Because they hate people who glaze Rem. Because there's so many of them. I could see that. Least favorite Archbishop. Honestly, bro, I hate this dude. In fact... I've been thinking about a couple of new slurs just specifically for him, actually. I can, I can run a few by you right now. Okay. okay for the first one, it's a futtin. Futtin. You futtin. know, it's like glutton and, and fat, like, put together, like, the F and then... A fat glutton. Nice one. The, all right, bro. So the second one is uh, actually gigger. Um, <laughs> where's that meme? South Park, uh, where's that? <laughs> oh, here it is. I'm sorry, but, uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> which vowel would Fit here to represent this. Oh, if you've seen that episode, <laughs> the letter is A, by the way. A, A is supposed to go here, okay? Um, I really don't want to elaborate on this one at all. In fact, I'm gonna just stop right here. Yeah. Anyways, okay. His good. Ability allows good. you to eat people's names and their memories. Now, if he eats your memories, your memories are just simply erased. Now, if he eats your name, other people's memories of you get erased from them. Mm -hmm. So basically, he erases you from existence, which basically means you're fucking cooked. Like, if he eats both your things, you're you're gone, bro. Just GGs. Honestly, it's over. Or I could just be completely wrong on this. I mean, I am just an anime only. Is this I, nigga serious? Yeah, I'm also I anime think, only. I think I'm right. Just never, never trust anything I say, to be honest. Now, he's really just a skinny guy with two swords, so he seems like he wouldn't be that hard to beat. The issue is, now there's two of them. So now this is Lai, and this is Roy. And there could be a third, remember. The last names represent constellations that make up the three great witch fiends. Gluttony theme. We got the, you know, the Hydra for the Black Serpent, maybe. We got the White Whale. We got the rabbit coming up, maybe. There may be a third. Bro, I swear these gluttony motherfuckers, man. Like, they just come into your country and start multiplying and shit. Okay. Hmm. I see. Okay. Maybe I'm dragging it. There's only two of them, so it's like addition instead of multiplication. This is like the one case where two is not better than one. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they're like cousins or some shit, or a father and son, or maybe they're not even related. I don't know, their last name is different. Why do they have different last names? They got different baby daddies? Yeah, at all. Oh, uh, shit. Am I being racist? <laughs> They're eating the cats. <laughs> They're eating the dogs. <laughs> They're not sending their best. <laughs> what, what else? Rosie O'Donnell is a fat... <laughs> Dude, why does he have so much beef? I actually spent... Um, a, a decent amount of time researching why Trump hates Rosie O'Donnell so much. If you weren't there for the 2016 election, like, you thought that Trump was wilding out during this election season? Bro, 2016 was an insane run. You have no clue the level of sass and just drama, bait, just, just content to be farmed from that shit. And he called Rosie O'Donnell like a fat cow so many times. He's so petty about it. It has to do with, like, this show, I think, um... 
Was it called a view? I don't know. It was like an important like TV station, a TV news, you know, media stuff. And they shit talk Trump. Uh, they kind of like exposed his uh, background that like he didn't. He's just like a Nepo kid and all, all that shit. And uh, he got very mad about that. And then he just said, fuck you in specific. <laughs> Jesus, okay, okay. Bro, what the fuck is his problem? Listen, this is the final part of this video, bro. There's only Yeah, and you better be telling me who the Diddy's disciples are, because I still don't know, know which ones are the disciples of Diddy. Only one person left to talk about, right? And listen, I'm trying to control myself, but bro, you you already know, you know I, I can't. So like, there, you're probably gonna hear a lot of vine blooms in the near future. This is Capella Emeralda Lagunica, and Chang the most Sama. important thing you need to know about her is that we do not know what her abilities or motives are, but we do know that she's of legal age. No, I think we do know her powers are, and we do know what her motives are. The powers seems to be transmutating other people into, you know, different creatures, right? We've seen that with the flies. We also know that she can, maybe, the dragon part is still kind of weird. Because the dragon most likely is Garfield's stepfather, based on the eye color and different actions we've seen. But we've seen Capella also be in the form of that dragon. The dragon's eye was pink at that time. Was she possessing the dragon or did she transform into the dragon? I'm not sure. But, you know, you can make some theories about her powers, you know, there too. The other part beyond that, which I don't think is her authority, it just has to do with her, like, cursed dragon blood, right? But think about, like, uh, ReZero's Mahito. Mui Tempen. Touch and changes. I think that. And then her motive? Her motive is very simple. In fact, most people's motives are very simple. It's not, it, maybe, maybe it's wrong to say simple, but the biggest, like, highest level, like, simplistic way of explaining her, like, desires or her, like, motives is that she wants to be loved by everything. Which is more, I think, she wants to be lusted by everything. Why she can turn into different forms of, you know, whatever that person's object of desire is. She can just understand using her, like, crazy eyes and figure out like, okay, you want me to turn like Amelia? Sure, I will do that without really having to ask, right? And she won't kill other people too because she wants them to still, you know, lust after her. So I think that's the motive and that's kind of like the powers of what we've seen so far. I'm sure there's more to it. Probably. Actually, I genuinely, genuinely don't know. It says unknown age on, a, on the wiki, bro, but they, they say she's probably over 50 years old or some shit. Age. It's just a number. So is the amount of time you'll spend in prison. When I say age doesn't matter, it sounds weird, right? That sounds like now you are being extremely sus. But here's the logic behind age doesn't matter. You could call her a 9,000 year old the demon lord. You could. Or you could call her 13. But these are mental gymnastics that you do to kind of justify your thirst for sus looking girls. The more I thought about it, Capella's, I think there's a spectrum of what a lolly is. Biko, Petra, Mary, lollies for sure. Very young, body type. Biko's 400 years old. Biko's a lolly. Capella's more like a, on the upper bound of like graduating lollyhood. You know what I mean? Like for example, date alive. Kotori. Captain Kotori, she's 13, but her body isn't really a lolly compared to, let's say, Yoshino, right? And Yoshino's age is way older than Kotori. So you see how the age doesn't really matter. It's all about, like, the body types. And regarding the body types, again, I think there's, like, a spectrum of, like, <laughs> what is it, low lolly to high lolly? <laughs> what are we doing here? Low, lo low lolly of, like, you know, very young and high lolly of, like, now you're looking petite and you're looking like... <laughs> Like a middle high school girl. This sounds so weird. The more I talk about it, the more ridiculous how I realize the more ridiculous it is. I don't think Papel is really that much of a lolly. But she definitely has that petite body. And a lot of the lolly cons probably do thirst over lollies. And I still have the notion. Yeah, bro, what are we discussing? Are you new here? You must be. I still have the belief that lolly cons are not PDF files. No, 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 no. To call someone a lolly cost, a pedophile, because they enjoy lollies, that's crazy. That's crazy behavior. I think lollies are very cute, but they're not to be sexualized. And until you actually commit the act in real life, which is terrible, you shouldn't, 
then you are because you committed the crime. Uh, you may have some thoughts and desires about doing it, but you don't do it. And instead, you beat your meat to Lollicon Dojins. Yeah, maybe you do. So Lollicons are not pedophiles. But I believe that some pedophiles, not all of them, but maybe most of them, and just random fucking ballpark opinion, I think that most pedophiles would enjoy Lolicon content. Some people have this notion that what? That logic doesn't make sense. What about video games? You telling me that murderers, like, like just because you, know, you, you kill people in you know, Call of Duty, that they enjoy murdering? Not necessarily, not all of them. But I bet you if you put some people in a room that are serial killers and you gave them a game that allows them to kill people, they would enjoy it. I think the logic makes sense here. This is a 1 plus 1 equals 2 situation. But if you try to twist my words, you could easily say 1 plus 1 equals 11. And now you're just being dis you know, disingenuous. She's probably over 50 years old or some shit. Okay, so for her abilities, apparently she's part dragon and she has the ability to transform into literally any animal or any other person and she could also transform any other person into whatever she wants against their will. And that mm -hmm. sounds pretty scary, but for me it's not. I just came up with like 40 different roleplay ideas that me and her can do, but I can't put them in this video without getting a interested. She has hyper regeneration too, so she's basically in Oh, forgot about the hyper regeneration prospect. And that is more akin to... Not her authority, but the dragon blood, right? Because, you know, Subaru also has dragon. You can't wait for Twitter to clip this section and get mad at me? Well, that's the best part, right? It's because, like, people think that, like, I have dirt that they can find. But I make it very public. The entire video is there. I'm not ashamed of any of my takes. And if I'm wrong, I'll admit my mistake. But people can clip me out of context, sure. And then I can just react to that and say, here's the video. This is what I actually said. Thank you for more views. And people say, based. And then we continue to farm. It's just this loop, this infinite cycle of me reacting, other people get mad, me reacting, other people get That's mad, cool. me reacting. <laughs> Dude, the content just gives itself. We're on the next level of the uh, farming process right now where no longer, you know, like I can just watch videos and that's it. It's just like other people will start shit and then I can farm that off. It's, 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 we're entering the mid game, I think. I, we're about to graduate from the end of the early game of content creation of the reaction channel. I think we're about to head into the mid game. I think the mid game will start when we're roughly around 100k subs in about a year or a year and a half. It could also regenerate other people and like mutate them and shit. The worst thing about her is that I probably let her rip my shit off and regenerate it too to see what it turn into. Oh, fuck. Could she give me a horse cock? Yeah. Now we're talking. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Lock in, lock in. The worst thing about her is her personality. She's literally sadistic, bro. She likes killing people and enjoys torturing them, bro. This shit is crazy. Yeah, never mind. I can't even do this seriously anymore, bro. I'm just thinking about all the possibilities, bro. I could get her to turn into Krush. You could, yeah, you can make her turn into anything you want. Fucking Felix. Amelia, Fortuna, bro. Yo, yo. I could show her a picture of Makima and I could literally live out Denji's dream for him. So I was in the middle of drafting a I think that uh, he likes sadists. Uh, all those, you know, characters, not all of them. There's a mix of them. But some people do enjoy the sadistic nature of Capella beyond just like enjo enjo enjoying them as a character and, you know, more of like a, a lifestyle. List of like 50 plus people she could turn into, but then I realized if I actually do this, I'm actually setting a bad example for the human Four. race. Now back to my goat Subaru. After all his training, after all his hard work, all the allies he made, after all that effort he put in what i can say here is that he is absolutely fucking cooked yeah he does seem cooked at the moment but tonight's episode of re-zero i don't know if this video will be up before we even know you know release the uh, reaction but uh i hear there's a triumphant moment i hear there's something so crazy that he might as well be the hero but hey that was a fun video i'm just disappointed that i got baited by diddy's disciples and i still don't know who the diddy's disciples are but hey Please go give Mr. Deku1622 like on the video. Here's a link. Go share it if you like. And I'll see you next time.